How are we doing? Well, it's funny you should ask. It's not that funny. It will give us a chance. This, this, will, uh, this will make sense in a minute. I, um, a lot of you know this. We're working on the Festival of Independent Theaters right now. And uh, thank you. The circus freaks have worked very hard because we've, we've, we've changed hats from doing like silly comedy to doing some actual dramatic theater. And it's been, a, it's been kind of a crazy experience because, you know, I'm playing a, a tragic character in that show. I, instead of being as silly as I get to be here, I'm actually trying to have, you know, actual human emotion. And that's hard to fake. Um, yeah. <laughs> Knowing awkward laughter. Thank you. I'll go. No, it's, it's been an amazing experience, but I, I will say it's been, it's been emotionally rough. And it's, you know, first off, it's wonderful to come back here where I've got my friends and get surrounded by people who get me. Thank you. Uh, but also, I found myself every time I go do that show afterwards, I'm a, I'm, a little, I'm a little lost. I had one of the probably what may be the worst combination of show and after show experiences you can imagine. I had to do that show, dark, sad, pathos, and then go put on my clown pants and do a show uh, you know, out in the world being the happiest person I could. So I went from, I went from you know, this like serious acting to waka waka, the, the, the nightmare. And I went and I did it, I did okay, and I felt, I felt good about what I did. And then on my way out, and I'm starting to just sort of, you know that thing that happens inside you where the, all the stuff you bolted together just starts to unbolt. This woman walks up to me, and she spins around, and she's wearing a giant sequined gown. She's got horn rim glasses with little rhinestones on it. And she swishes this and does that. And I'm just, I'm still a clown, so I'm like, wow, you're really famous. And I just, oh, nice to meet you. And I have this moment, and, and, and we have this interaction where she is clearly a, a fairy godmother of some sort. And I leave the event. There's no reason for this person to be there. This is very weird. My handlers never send a clown out without handlers. Good rule. Real good rule. Grab her and explain that we're circus performers. And she comes running up and she goes, oh, this is for you so you can wave your wand and make magic. And she gives me my very own magic wand. I know. Totally. And I've been holding on to this. I mean, that was Saturday, so I've been holding on to this since and thinking about it. And I've, I have been trying to feel out how I feel about this. And I've, I have come to my most honest reaction, the one that scares me most. I am pissed off about this gift. I'm really, really angry about it because, let's face it, okay, I know it looks like Tron's dildo and the intent was right. <laughs> But barring that, let's get real. This isn't going to help any of my dreams come true. <laughs> no more true than they were a moment ago. I just, I just got done working on something for six months to make it happen. And I know my friends are going to get up here tonight. And they're going to work and give themselves to you guys with everything they have. And tonight we actually have some really big risks going on in this stage. And this just seems... As well-intended as it was, it just seems trite in the face of it. Despite it being, wow, really cool. Ah, it, it's too, thank you. It, it just seems a little too easy. If it was this easy, well, we would, bam, we'd do it. But uh, the reality is the only magic I found is we practice. We get up here and we do it and we screw up. We do it again, we do, you guys know this, we do it again, we do it again, we do it again, and as one day it looks graceful, as if by magic it stops sucking. That is the only magic that happens in live theater. It's the only thing that matters. So I appreciate the gift to the fairies of the world, but I, and I'm gonna hang on to it just in case there's an opportunity for me to do something like that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do the work. And I'm going to cheer on the people who come to live theaters to cheer on the work with me. And I'm going to cheer anyone who takes a stage. Because that, that, my friends, is magic. And we do it here and we call it the open stage. Thanks.